Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be happening, and then I'm planning on doing. Well, basically, what's gonna happen is beginning of January. Obviously, this Europa and Tropico Five will continue. Um, hopefully, the Carberry story will begin on a bi-weekly or tri-weekly basis. I have to figure out which is going to be the best. Probably tri-weekly, unless I can actually do it bi-weekly. In which case, then that should be able to happen. But we will see. Uh, and then... And so that will start. So you'll have four. And then the fifth thing that should start... Hopefully... Fingers crossed... Is either... SimCity 4 again... Because I like doing SimCity 4. Or. Or. Mountain Blade Warband Blood and Steel. Season 2. Hopefully. I would rather do that actually. Because that is more fun. Um, because it doesn't crash. Like SimCity 4 does. It's so ridiculous. It's like you have one too many mods. And it just kills itself every time you start it. Yeah. I'm at that stage. But, um, yeah, hopefully, so then you'll have one every weekday. And then I can do random stuff other days if I have time for it, but I probably won't. Alright, and some convention news. Um, obviously this will be coming out after Comic-Con. I was at Comic-Con, um, and it was, I'm assuming, it was very fun. Uh, I dressed up as David Tennant one of the days. I got a tenant suit from Magnolia Clothiers. It's a New Zealand based company. They make amazing tailor made suits and, and anything. You've got movie characters, you've got television characters, you know, you've got the tenth doctor suit, you've got stuff from the eleventh doctor, you've even got Capaldi's doctor on there. They had Capaldi's doctor on there like the day the episode aired. It was great. Alright, we're declaring war. Alright, we need... Call for courage. There we go. Wham blam! Holy crap. That's pretty good. Get in there. Fire! Ooh! Okay. Ta-da! Oh wait, can you fire? Yeah, you can. Good. Did they... No, they didn't die. They were non-existent in the forest. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna put their link in... The, a link in the description to their website, because they make amazing stuff. I mean, it's a little pricey, obviously, but it's all tailor-made. They make their own fabrics, and they make their own stuff. And, uh, I couldn't be more happy with what I got from them. Uh, so I would definitely suggest you buy something from them if you're looking to do some sort of cosplay that involves a suit or things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting. Um, somehow got on that tangent. Oh yeah, right, uh, convention news. I will be at PAX East again, which is apparently in March. Which is good, because I'm going to be wearing my tenant suit again. And, uh, of course, it's, it's nicer when it's cooler to be wearing a suit. If you've ever worn a suit, you know this. I dropped my pen again. Of course I did. Uh, fire. Fire. Mine. This is all mine. Good. Annex the city. We have 52 happiness. That's amazing. Fire. Fire. <laughs> that looked like it hurt only a little bit. Alright, uh, so yes, I will be at PAX East again. Uh, I was there last year. It was the first con gaming convention I ever went to, and we had a blast. So, we decided we would go again. Get science. Uh, so, it's, uh, it's good. It's a, it's a great convention, actually. I'm sure PAX Prime is you know bigger and everything, but PAX East is kind of a little more subdued. There's a little less people there, and, and you have more space, and by more space, I mean no space at all to walk around. Yes, there we are. Okay. Choose production. 
we want you to build a courthouse. It's right away building. That's surprising. Huh. I wonder why that is. Usually there's a bit of unrest. Huh. Very strange. Whatever, I'm not going to question. I was just remarking on the fact. I would take Warsaw, but I really don't want to take a capital this early in the game. What are you doing? You think they really think they can take the city back? They might be able to. No, they won't. Crazy. That guy died trying to do it. An enemy is near. Time go down. Where? Oh, there. Hello. I hope one of the things you wanted to do when you woke up this morning was die. Okay, that's what's about to happen. You've discovered trapping. Oh my goodness. Lods can fire upon an enemy. Fire upon that enemy. Oh, that sounds like it hurt. Wow, that... Oh, okay. Fire. Kablam. Oh, that worked. Why don't you keep building that? All right. Would you like to sue for peace now? All right, if you insist. It's only going to be your downfall. You ever you ever know those people that don't know when to give up? Every other every AI in Civ is that person. They never know when to just say, "Fine, let's end this war." It's like someone's punching you in the face, and then they're like, "Okay, if you if you give me a dollar, I'll stop now. But if you don't give me a dollar, I'm gonna punch you like sixty more times." And then you're like, "No, no, give me the punches." Like, what? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, I guess we're advancing onto the uh, we're advancing in the southern front. Let us proceed. We shall take Warsaw then, if they are going to be so stupid about it. Chop down that tree, or group of trees, large group of trees. We don't have horseback riding yet, so we know how to tame horses. We just don't know how to ride them with any stability at all. I'm sure. I'm sure there have been people like in the countryside up here in a tiny little village next to these horses. You know, they're just like, we don't really know how to ride these, but uh, we're going to try anyway. And so you just see them, like, jump on the back of the horse and just hold on. Because, you know, anyone anyone who's able-bodied can ride a horse, you know, in, in quotes, can ride a horse. Uh, but only people who really know how to ride a horse can ride a horse. Because, uh, I mean, you could, you could just hold on for dear life to a saddle or something as your as the horse just runs across across the plains you're just looking across and you just see a guy you see a horse and on the horse there's just a guy hanging onto the saddle screaming at the top of his lungs it's like oh as the horse just runs down the field through a fence and things and you're like oh my goodness that guy clearly has never learned how to ride a horse civil service land sh land connect Close enough. Only, only the uh, best pronunciations here at the Farley Entertainment Network. Only the finest. All right. You're gonna begin chopping down these, this rainforest here, because it's not doing us any good. This is the deforestation bit, and we're gonna plant it all back. But like I said uh, a couple episodes ago, I don't want any of these rainforests here because they kind of get in the way. Yeah, oh, that was a bad choice. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, honestly, I don't understand why. No matter what I'm doing, without even trying, I slip into some sort of bad accent. It, I have no control over. It's very strange. The enemy has been spotted near Lods. Like, what is that? How has the enemy... Because this is part of Lods, that's why. Except for range attack. 
Fire! Where? Run! Ooh, right next to the pyramids. Yeah, they're dead. I don't really want to move that guy over there. Oh ho ho. Oh, I don't... Which... Do I do either of these, or do I resist the urge to just destroy this great problem? I'm going to resist the urge. Surprisingly, it doesn't happen very often, but I'm going to... I'm going to do it. For, for my own sake, I think. Uh, let's start building a road down here to Lods. Actually, we can do cross like that. And then we can have a road come up. And around here. Up to southern New York City. So this road can like pass by Lods and not go through it. That makes sense. Gold per turn. Sure, why not? Have some cocoa. I'll take that gold per turn. Look how much money we have. We're rich. Oh, you're gonna give us Krakow, are you? Sure. Raise it. Kill everyone. Bye, Krakow. Nobody wants that. We still have this weird, just, like, foot. It just looks like we're kicking Warsaw in the face. Hey, Warsaw, guess what? Ow! Why would you do such a thing? And we're gonna delete all these. That's the extent of my military. Except for you, you're gonna come and, and go, you're gonna go right there. Uh, but we don't need them right now. If we need any of them, we'll just buy them all, because look at this. It's ridiculous. Him edgy cats. <laughs> Start building that for no good reason. Okay. Now you're going to come up here, and you're going to start building a road. Road. Lancaster is growing quite large now. It's as big as New York. That's so untrue in the real world, but it's true here. Washington is still the biggest, almost at 20. Seven turns to go. Boston is now the smallest, or I guess still the smallest. It was kind of the smallest before. Road. There. When does fertilization? It's here. Fertilizer. We could actually do that, well, not quickly. In two technologies, we could do that, but then we'd be in the industrial era before we even finished the medieval era. So I'll probably say no to that. May as well get caught up a little bit here. We need to convert New York. Get over there. Oh, one turn. Just, you know, took a bus. I saw a mod today that adds a couple new buildings, and one of them is uh, a central station, uh, which you can build once you reach railroads, and it changes all of your roads to railroads instantly. And I was like, that is the best mod ever made. Because it's so annoying. Because I have to do it all by hand, because if I send them to do it manually, they ch or automatically they change everything else. And I don't want them to do that. I wish there was like a button that instead of just sending them to do automated work, you could just send them to replace all your roads. Because other than that, workers are pretty much useless. Adopt a policy. Purchasing items in cities requires 25% less gold. One science from every mint, market, bank, and stock exchange. Great merchants are earned faster. Perfect. We are going to be rich beyond our slightly wild dreams. Yeah, sure, I guess. Reluctant trading 101. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's Great Barrier Reef. Alright, whatever. It's gonna look like Ireland, but, you know, like if they cut it in half and, and made it look like not Ireland at all. Yeah, that makes sense. Lods has grown. Oh, yeah, I should rename this to something, you know, not stupid. Sorry, everyone who lives in Lods or is Polish. I, I didn't mean to offend. Lods just is not a very pleasant sounding name, I guess. I don't know. It's my opinion. What should I name this? 
What's well, a good city? It's on a river. In a forest. Oh, that's a lot of them. St. Louis. Sure. Why not? It's a different religion to ours. We can finish building this cocoa plantation. We'll build this road out to St. Louis. Which will be good. I think we're going to build the road out of here and then maybe there will be another city down here somewhere. So you really use another coastal city maybe right on the, there, right there. Like in this bay area. It's actually a nice looking bay. I can't wait to destroy it with civilization. Purchase. We, should we make this our other megalopolis? I don't know. Campfire. Irrigation system. Longhouse. So we'll decide that in a second. Storage house. Town square. Barracks. Granary. Library. Shrine. Oops, I didn't want walls. Can I sell the walls? No. Well, I messed up. It's got walls now. I hate walls so much. They're so annoying. They don't belong in an American city. Whoops. Like how when you when you go to Krakow it just says burning. Poor Krakow. It's not my fault. It's it's Casimir's fault. He gave it to me. Let's make it a megalopolis. Wow, that changed two buildings. Wealth. I wish I could get rid of these walls now. Can't sell them. Like I can sell this. Sure, I can. I can. I can sell that. I can sell that, but I can't sell the walls. Just delete them. Well, St. Louis has now become our frontier city, which isn't too far off from what it actually was, but it's just annoying. Oh, so I guess I don't need to be cutting down all these things. Because it looks like um, the fertilizer does it for you. Alright, well that's that's good then. We'll just focus on building our infrastructure. But, uh, that was the, uh, the Great War against Poland. I hope they enjoyed it. They're probably going to go to war with uh, France at some point. But uh, anyway guys, that's going to be enough for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Johan Farley. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for more Civilization V Brave New World with the great ruler Lincoln of the American Democratic Republic of the Congo.